If you know, you know. What did I just watch? Alright guys, gals, and everything in between, I'm here today to review for you Willy's Wonderland. So Willy's Wonderland is the horror action film starring Nicolas Cage, and it basically, in summary, is about Nicolas Cage is staying overnight to clean essentially an abandoned Chuck E. Cheese, but it's called Willy's Wonderland, and it's basically evil and possessed by the devil of sorts, and he intermittently has to fight the animatronic critters uh, and survive the night. Uh, it's weird. I don't know how to describe this movie, really. I was watching it the entire time just going, I, I, I don't understand. Like, I don't get the point, but I do. It's a very simple movie. It's just the epitome of Nicolas Cage-isms, really. This is the most Nicolas Cage I think I've ever seen Nicolas Cage be. He... he's just... This is a weird movie. Um, I would not... If, if you partake in substances, whether it be alcohol or green leafy substances, I would recommend indulging in that before you watch this movie. Because <laughs> it's just weird. I mean, it's... The, the fight scenes are actually really well shot. Nicolas Cage is being Nicolas Cage, and I'm, I'm a huge fan of, of the Cage. Um, as you all know, I like to watch him just lose his mind, and this one... Yeah, it does not disappoint. Nicolas Cage does a lot of Nicolas Caging. The practical animatronics also, I just kind of appreciated having them there because there's so many of these kinds of movies where the characters go like full-blown CG for certain conflicts or fights. And I adored the fact that these were just practical suits and animatronics the entire time. The, I, there were very few, at least, that I could tell CGI effects, and that was really cool. It all felt very real, and while the situation is ridiculous, it was really cool to see Nicolas Cage, because he's actually fighting something that's right there. It's clearly not CGI. And yeah, Nicolas Cage fights basically Chuck E. Cheese dolls, and um, it, it knows it's ridiculous, and you can tell the movie doesn't take itself seriously, so you kind of give certain things a pass. Like, there's certain plot holes that in a, any other movie would be like, that's stupid, why didn't they just do that? And you rapidly figure out it's because the movie knows it's absurd. The movie knows it will make no sense. And, but it, it's just gonna have fun doing it. This is the epitome of a guy made a movie and just said, you know what? I'm just gonna do what I want, screw what everybody else thinks. And I gotta give props to that. Now, that being said, is this the most rewatchable movie in Cage's repertoire? No, no, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, I don't know how often I will revisit Willy's Wonderland, but it's... It, it, the pacing is weird because the movie is so experimental and so just not a conventional movie. It kind of drags a little bit where you're like, oh, yeah, I guess he's gonna have this conflict. And you never really feel like Nicolas Cage's character is in danger. He's established as this ultimate badass from the beginning, basically because he's Nicolas Cage. And then he kind of just beats the shit out of some, <laughs> some like, mascots. And you're like, ah, I mean, he, he did... I never felt once like Nicolas Cage was in peril, which, of course, weakened my overall enjoyment. I really like characters to feel like they're just struggling to get through everything. And I never felt that in this movie. And of course there's cannon fodder for, for these creatures to show how serious they are. But at the same time, Nicolas Cage never struggles. He's just Nicolas Cage throughout the whole movie. But I will say there were times I definitely had a blast watching him just utterly, brutally rip the heads off of these things. That was really cool, but again, that was the only thing there. It was a vi it's a very surface level film, and it's also well shot. I will give it that. Though some of the camera angles, it was very clear they watched Evil Dead, 
and they really, really wanted to try and do something like that, but crank it up a bit. And those shots were a little bit jarring. Um, there was a whole segment with a strobe light that I was like, oh, God. No, it, it, that that did not work for me. But there was a ventilation scene, and that was amazing. That was, like, really intense. And I was like, holy God. And I, I was actually on the edge of my seat for the ventilation shaft conflict. Um, but all in all, I don't even know what to think of this movie. It's just kind of bizarre. It's, um... It's just a weird time altogether. And, um... I would say, I mean, if you're watching it at like a like a streaming service or at home, watch it at home. I saw it in the theaters. I don't think this is a movie you need to see in theaters. I think this had this been any other time in in our history in terms of movies, I have a feeling this would have been one of those straight to like Netflix Nicolas Cage movies that everyone's like, "Oh, you got to check this weird thing out." Kind of like the Banana Splits movie that came out somewhat recently. It actually feels a lot like the Banana Splits movie. Um, so yeah, it, it's just, it, I mean, it's fine. It's a perfectly okay movie, um, but I wouldn't go out of my way to pay money to go see it. It's not going to be something to bring you to that. So it's it's fine. It's a, it's a harmless, fun time. I would say this is the kind of movie that if you're friends and you were all at like a Halloween party, this without a doubt would be a fun one for you and your friends to put on after maybe one or two or 14 drinks. Whatever you do, you know if you know. So yeah, I have to say, this would be good on a streaming service platform of some kind. Uh, yeah, go have fun with it. It, it, would, it would be like that midnight movie madness kind of thing. All right, guys, gals, and everything in between, what did you think about Willy's Wonderland? Are you going to go watch it? Have you watched it? Do you think it was as weird as I think it is? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell notification. It's what the hip kids are doing. Love you guys.